Tomoe nage is a ma sutemi waza. Sutemi is to abandon your upright position. You're going to dispose of your opponent behind you. Tomoe means three apostrophes. One, two, three. You notice how he's pushing with that foot. Most people make their foot go out here and do that. You don't want to lift them straight up. That's why you point your toes that way. So they come this way over. And then there are many variations to this too. We'll work with the Kiondo Waza now. The Waza is the power, the strength of this throw. If you look at Kashiwazaki, Kashiwazaki was the lightest All Japan champion. He goes straight down. Okano was a very small, light gold medalist in the Olympics, 1964. And that's where I learned this Tomoe Nage at Sekizuku, Okano's private school. So how we practice is, you don't hear a thump, do you? Go ahead one more time. No thump. You have to control that descent. The hands are right up here. That's gonna help you keep balance. See the hands up here, here, and then drop straight down. It's a very painful throw. When they come in, this foot is gonna go right into your abdomen. When I was doing this in Japan, I used to put a zabuton in here. One of those thin Japanese seating cushions. Loosen my belt, and then I would walk like this. So sensei wouldn't notice that I had a zabuton in there. <laughs> Until one day, my judo gi came undone and he caught it. After practice, everybody else go home, a medica boy, and you have to clean the toilet room. I had to clean the bath, clean the dojo for a month because I cheated. <laughs> All you got is that one toilet, that's nothing. <laughs> no good. He cannot do it. That's because of a bad uke. There's a good uke. Where's the ibuprofen? So it takes a thousand times to learn to throw. You do 999. In jujitsu, Okay, it was here. Pow, first. Uh, hidari maigeri, drop down, and then the right foot would come up, and then you'd come behind the neck and pull down. Where you want to strike is right here in the shitahara. And I remember they didn't have kumamusubi back then. This kind of knot here was in the back. So it, when you put your foot right there, and you had sandals on, when you hit in here, you push that in, and it makes him lean even more forward. That gives you more kuzushi. So, Migi Jigotai. This is a must to help in the practice. See how nice open I am here? So his first step in, he's gonna just break the line. If you step here, right where you're supposed to, and I turn my knee, it hits nothing. See, I don't have a defense on that. A lot of people go deep, 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 right? But they don't think about the consequence of going deep. Here, hey, this here, look at there. Just like that. Before we do the throw, you have to know how to do the ukemi no waza, right? So remember how I told uke to stand in migi jigo hontai, right? So when he comes in, you take a step forward and you do migi mai mawari no ukemi. Migi jigo tai. Here, now step. You didn't step. <laughs> now step, there. Okay, why do I want you to step? This step is part of your defense mechanism because from here, you can move this way. When you're here and you're like this, you cannot move anymore, can you? I won a lot of contests this way, especially when people are falling over just to pull down and dive right in and come up. But you have to learn how to practice it. So many dojos just say, well, let me show you how to do this, right? Go ahead, try it. And then people get hurt, they get crashed on, then guess what? They never do it. What have I told everybody when they first started here? Judo hurts. hurts. Judo is not gentle. I wish I could find a bloody Englishman that translated it, because that's who it was. Some guy studying at Oxford, translating some stuff. Oh, it's gentle. And Japanese being so polite didn't contradict him. Arigato!